so these are the required components for this project now let's make transmitter take a work board and arduino nano and place it at the center and place both joysticks on both sides of arduino board so it will be very good design for controlling now place the nrf adapter at the upper side of the arduino board I am using this NRF24 adapter because it gives proper regulated power supply to NRF module. It gives very good performance. Also it is easy to connect. Now we have to make connections from joystick to Arduino. So here I have used this female header pins with long legs and I'm going to bend and insert in PCB holes. As you can see I have made all connections. Be sure to follow the circuit diagram for accuracy. For connecting the NRF module to the Arduino, the connections will remain the same as shown in the diagram, even if you are using an adapter or not. By the way, you can check out Max Imagination's video for a detailed explanation. Huge shout out to Max for his awesome work. You can use electrical tape to isolate the circuit connections and keep everything secure. And I almost forgot to mention that I am adding a 10k potentiometer to this setup. With this, I can control things like servo motor. It's simple yet powerful addition to enhance the functionality of the controller. Now let's move on to the receiver. Once again we'll need an Arduino Nano and a PCB. Start by connecting the NRF adapter to the Arduino. The connections here are exactly the same as those on the transmitter, so it's straightforward to set up. As you can see our receiver is now ready. I have also soldered male and female header pins onto the PCB to easily connect other components. This makes the setup more modular and convenient for the future modifications or upgrades. Now let's move on to the programming part. This code is specifically for the transmitter. First I have included the required libraries followed by defining the pins used in the project. The main functionality of this code is to read all the input values from the joysticks and potentiometer and buttons and then send them to the receiver using the NRF24 module. And this code is for the receiver. For now I have programmed it to control an RC car using an L2981 motor driver but you can easily modify it to suit your own requirements. Similar to the transmitter code, this code receives all the input values and performs actions based on the program logic. In this code, you can adjust the power output of the NRF module by modifying the radio.setPA level setting. This allows you to optimize the module's range and performance based on your requirements. Additionally, you can change the data rate to increase or decrease the data transmission speed. Lower data rates improve reliability over long range distances, uh, while higher rates are better for faster communication in close range setups. As you can see, I have uploaded the codes and the serial monitor is displaying the input values perfectly. This means our RC controller is fully functional and ready to use. Next, I made a case for the controller using an acrylic foam board. I tried to give it a sci-fi and attractive look. You can design the case however you want based on your style and requirements. After finishing the build, I couldn't resist and I took ton of snapshots and sent them to my classmates, even though most of them were not particularly interested. So let's make RC car to test our transmitter and receiver. Now our RC car is ready. Let's take it for a test. 